everyone, this is Atari here, and today I'm going to be making smoked lentil curry soup in a slow cooker. And um, sorry, I haven't been around for about a month now because I've been moving, but now that I'm settled in, I can start cooking again. Okay, so how I'm going to do this is uh, what I did was I cut all my vegetables here, and with the vegetables here, I have four stalks of celery, four carrots here that which I I cut. I have a half a red onion. That was a large onion. It, or you can use like a small red onion. That one had six cloves of garlic and just a little bit of ginger here. I'm going to be using green lentils I got from Sprout. And so this is a pound. I have a, a teaspoon of garlic powder, a half a teaspoon, half a teaspoon of pepper, black pepper, a teaspoon of sea salt, and a teaspoon of curry. I'm gonna put six cups of water as well. And then I have just under um, a pound of smoked ham hock, or just like a smoked hock. And I have under a pound of stewing pork. So this is my slow cooker. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start putting it on. I'm gonna put it on high heat. I have that in there. And it's just so simple to do. This is like, you can, Go about your day and like just do what you need to do while this is cooking. I, I'm going to say about, about six to eight hours I'm going to cook this or until the pork is tender. So I got that in there, um, the meat, and now I'm going to add the vegetables on top of it. Yeah, invest in a slow cooker. It's just worth it. Or a pressure cooker. And then I'm going to add all the seasoning on top. I have my lentils here. There's my lentils. And I'm gonna put my water in. This is four cups here. I'm gonna add, I'm gonna add eight cups of water instead of six. Okay, so I'm gonna add the remaining four cups here. I might have to add another two cups of water later and more salt afterward. So that's it. All you have to do is just cover it up and let it simmer away slowly. So I'm gonna let it simmer, I say about six to eight hours. I'm gonna kind of check up on it to see if the water had evaporated and if I need more seasoning, I probably will add more sea salt. So I'll see you back in uh, many hours later. Okay, so I just added four more cups of water to the, the pot. It was really dry. I forgot to tape that. And then I'm just going to add a little bit more sea salt to this. And I'm going to stir it. This has been cooking for about five hours. I'm going to cook it a little bit longer. Okay, so I'm just stirring this up. I want to get this tender. I want to get the meat more tender. I want to cook it maybe about another hour or so. Okay, I'll see you back. Okay, so it's been eight hours since I cooked this. I wanted to cook it long because I wanted it to be tender. And this is what it looks like. Looks very good, huh? Let's see if the meat is tender. Yes, the meat is quite tender. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of break all the, the meat and kind of make it into smaller chunks. And I'll show you that. And I'll, I'll put it in a bowl. And first I'm going to season it. And then if I need more salt, you can add more salt. If you want to add more curry, you may do so. Um, and I'll show you that soon. So this is... The lentil soup, it has like a smoky flavor with a, a hint of curry. I had to add more sea salt to it, but if you don't want to add more sea, sea salt, you don't have to. So this is it. I hope you guys can try this. It's nice to use a slow cooker. You can just like kind of forget about it. But this one, I just had to kind of look. About six hours, I needed to add that four cups of water in the season. But yeah. 
You can make this without meat as well, and it'll still be hearty. Okay, so aloha, everyone. Have a good evening.